We've all turned up, missed more than we've hit, and sat in the car on the way home and thought, what on earth has just happened there? <laughs> I thought I was a half decent shot and then you came away feeling a bit silly. Um, but I promise if you get the right coaching and you've got the right dedication, um, it may take a long time, but you, know, you, you can do it. Probably the, there's never been a better time, I imagine now, to, to get into Olympic events. Uh, if you look on the British shooting website, they have lots of information on there now about their talent pathway system and the academy system, which gives people a, a clear route into what they should do and the path they should take to start to get involved. Because that's the first step, is, is getting your face out there onto a shooting range um, with that intent of having a go at some Olympic targets. Um, sounds easy, but yeah, for, for a long, long time, it was always a bit of a mystery of, of how you break into that, that little niche market. Um, so yeah, I, I would get on the internet, do your searches, look on the British Shooting website, look on the CPSA website, and, um, and the information will be there. And then simply turn up to a shoot. Anybody can shoot a Great Britain trial. You don't have to be of a specific standard. You just have to have a shotgun license and abide by the, the shoot rules. And, um, and once you've got a foot in the door, then you soon pick up all you know, the rest. I like to think uh, certainly us in Double Trap are all very welcoming and I'm, I'm sure Olympic Trap and Olympic Skeet are exactly the same. We've all been at the beginning of, the, of that, you know, that journey and it's hard. You miss a great deal of targets and you do feel a bit silly because you will be, uh, as a beginner, you will, at a Great Britain trial, you will be competing against the people at the top end. If you turned up to an Olympic Trap shoot, you very well could be drawn on the, the next peg to Ed Ling, who's just won Olympic bronze. Um, and he is the top end of the scale world-class shooter. And, that, and he could be stood next to a person who it's their first time shooting Olympic trap target. But that's the beauty of the sport. And it, it should be embraced, I think, rather than feared. Um, most of us know that, that it, it's, a, it's a tough old trek, but um, you've got to start somewhere. And there's a lot more people around now to, to guide people in the right direction. Again, in the past, you had one route, and that was turn up to a Great Britain selection shoot, pay your money, enter, probably you know, have, your, have your confidence shot to pieces because you've struggled and you don't know where, what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, and then you go away and you think, well, I, I don't think I want to do that again. Whereas now, um, there will be people there from British shooting specifically, uh, talent ID people um, and the academy coaches and people like that that can take you to one side and, and tell you all about it. Uh, maybe, you know, guide you towards a certain coaching program um, or a certain person to, to see and work with if you're serious about getting involved. Um, and you can go from there. So you don't have to fumble around in the dark like so many of us had to do years ago and, and hope for the best. I used to work here um, 20 years ago uh, when I was a youngster letting the clays go on all the manual traps. Come here on a Saturday morning, work all day and earn myself a few quid and, and uh, yeah, go home happy. When I was a lot younger, I used to uh, work for a, a local chap on corporate days, um, giving a few lessons and he used to let me shoot for free or, or cheap. So that was how I used to get a lot of my, my cheap practice. Matt French took gold, matching Tim Neal's world record score of 148 out of 150. TSC's Tom Scott, who won the car in last year's school's challenge event, shot a new personal best of 141 out of 150. He's another good example of what you know determination and perseverance can do for you. He's been working away in the junior ranks and um, he's got many more years left in him as a junior. So um, he come into it at the right time and he's, he's put in the the hard miles in, in the car for training and the time on the range and it, he's now starting to see some benefits. Um, you never ever reach the end of, of, you know, progression. There's always room for improvement, but he's now starting to see, um, you know, with, if you channel yourself correctly, that you can start shooting some big scores and he made his first senior final uh, on the first selection shoot um, of the Nuthampton weekend. So, um, 
you know, it just shows it, you know, it, it does happen. You know, you, you put the work in and um, if you're good enough and you, know, you, you can, you've got it in you, you can, you can make it as high as you want to go.